really, I really want to hire you. Welcome back, welcome back. You can be quiet now. We're, we're on the air. I know, right? I know. To... I was talking about Jerry's shoes. We used to zip over here to we, Jerry's we can, shoes right away. We can get away. a good shot of his shoes a little bit yeah, later. Yeah, I mean, we're, we shouldn't be on camera right now. Like this. <laughs> Fix us, Scott. Uh, we have with us in the studio Jerry Strober and Paul Hill. Welcome to the show. And you're here to promote something for Serenity. Yes, we, this, we did this last year. Yes, we did. I, I, I got the biggest kick out of yes, thinking we. about how this event was going to turn out. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and you know it was phenomenally successful. Yeah, mm -hmm. good. Yeah, it yeah. really turned out really, really well. Got a bunch of men wanting to put on women's... Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know how much they want to put them. I don't know how much they want to put them. How long have you had those on your feet, Jerry? Is what we're asking. I About mean. ten minutes. Okay, good. Because I didn't know if you'd been all day long practicing, or whatever. But. What, what I'm doing is I'm starting with low heels, and I'll work up uh, okay. to the five-inch heels the day we have the yeah. the walk. Do, they, do you have to have a certain amount of heel no. height? Okay. No, and we tell men. Uh, by the way, you know our celebrity walkers are the leading men of the community and mm -hmm. we want Dan to do that but he so far we haven't convinced him oh, but maybe, maybe he will this year but uh, but we have the sheriff and the county judge and the fire chief and the police chief car manual mm -hmm. I mean I'm not in that celebrity category well, but we have, they, they, they keep moving in all different uh, I, I bet you'd be surprised at what I could walk in <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's amazing to me to see that but last year um, I think we had 20 mm -hmm. celebrity walkers. Mm -hmm. and did they course, walk a mile? They have to walk four oh times around Bomber Stadium. Yeah. And some yeah. did wear high heels. Yes, yes and did. some did. They did. Yep. They, yeah. And um, uh, we're, we're looking at um, seeing this year probably close to twice that many uh, who will be walking. And, of course, mm -hmm. the other thing is they have to pay $100. For the privilege of doing this, you know, so it's amazing to me that some are even coming Punishment. out and volunteering to do yeah. it. I say, I want to do that. I say, cost you a hundred dollars. That's okay. Yeah. It's for yeah. a good cause, yeah. and it is for a good that cause. Okay. Now, how sure. else can people donate? Someone like me, who I tell you what, I don't want to walk a mile in high heels anymore. <laughs> no, uh, and, and we have a lot of teams who are walking. They walk in tennis shoes. I mean, okay. we don't care yeah. uh, what they walk in or barefooted or whatever they want to do and they don't have to all go four times around the track it's the celebrity walkers who have the biggest requirement but <laughs> we have other teams from groups that are going to be uh, walking and then we also have people who even if they can't walk or even be there that day can certainly donate mm -hmm. I would just uh, call serenity and make okay. a donation and we had a lot of people do that last mm -hmm. year yes, so okay. mm -hmm. so it's it's a it's a wonderful well when wonderful is the event happening. it's going to be may 11th at nine o'clock in the morning that's a saturday mm -hmm. mother's and, day weekend mm -hmm. oh, okay good. yep and then we will we're usually finished by oh 10 10 30 mm -hmm. you know so it isn't a big time commitment yeah. either right. mm -hmm. and a lot of the people johnny key you know people like that don't have a lot of time, but they'll give what sure. they yeah. can. And, so. and, and the money goes to Serenity, of course. It's everything. Right. Tell us a little bit about Serenity. Well, Serenity, uh, of course, is a, a emergency shelter for uh, survivors, families that are survivors of domestic violence. And we also have other services that uh, a lot of people don't realize that we have outreach services for people that may not need to come into the emergency shelter but they need to uh, they, they need assistance so we do uh, court advocacy we have a support group that meets weekly we can help um, in helping them get connected with services that help them to transition to mm -hmm. an independent life that's that's violence free and of course all of our services are completely free of charge to everyone Good. And where's where's the best place to if you if you need the services? How would they? How would you get in contact? Would you go by the offices or the, can the you best call way or? is to to call our hotline, which okay. is eight seven zero four two four safe or seven two three three. And thank you for asking that. We I'm I'm amazed at how how much we try to get that number out in the community, mm -hmm. and we still we still. People still don't know how to get in contact yeah. with us. And we're very um, happy to say we've been in the community for 25 years this year. Yeah. So that's a long time for, yes, for a nonprofit agency to be up and going and with continuous services. Yeah. And, and we have the purple door. Excuse me. I was, I was just gonna a lot of people don't know yeah. about the purple door. That's right. The and purple door is our, go to is our, is our uh, upscale resale shop. And it serves two purposes. One is is that when clients come in, um, it, they can go shop. We, we give them a voucher mm -hmm. and they can go shop rather than us saying, here's your bag of of clothes or, or whatever they can go pick out what they need shoes clothes 
purses. And then also it is, of course, a source of revenue mm -hmm. for our services. Right. And in Marion County, we have Serenity's Closet, which is our um, resale shop over there, thrift store over there, and it's right on right on 62, right across from the court square. You know, I, I, I do shop at those those places, and sure. I get a lot of good stuff there. Oh, absolutely. I mean, that's where I got these. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right, we're out of those yeah, now. Yeah, I bet you are. Yeah. 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 Yeah, this, darn. this event, uh, Walk a Mile in Her Shoes, is coming up when, and where's it going to be okay. for people it's just It's going to be at Bomber Stadium, Saturday, May the 11th, yeah. at 9 o'clock in the morning. And I just uh, I want to say real quickly, any of the forms for people can be downloaded yeah. from serenityinc.org because there are team registrations there, individual. We have some people who just as individuals want to walk. Mm -hmm. And so for a $10 mm -hmm. registration, they can walk. And then we encourage all the walkers to raise funds as well. But the registration covers the cost of a T-shirt they'll get. Okay. Um, they'll have it. And this year also I wanted to mention that uh, Home Instead is, of course, hosting the event. But also Care Manor, one of the local uh, nursing facilities, has really stepped up to the plate yeah. this year and okay. have gotten us tons of door prizes. And hey. everybody who comes is going to get a free coupon to go to El Chico's and uh, have a dessert. And uh, we've got, uh, I think, like 20 passes to um, Blanchard Caverns, float trip for two in the Buffalo River. So we've got some really great door prizes, too, yeah. to give out. And it should be very entertaining, <coughs> to say the and least. And this year there's going to be an award ceremony immediately following oh for the best hat and heels combination, <laughs> the best form. Where, where'd the hats come from? <laughs> well, the men are going to... Oh, my god! They have to bring their own. This, they're, yeah. they're so best hat, hat and heels. And heels That's combo. a good question. Oh, and oh, the best we, we added the hats this year for Hat this and heels. Here. What was your second category? Uh, the best performance and then the best walk. Oh, the best performance. You said, I thought you said the best form. I thought, oh, oh, we're really getting the, into well, something that here. That's <laughs> part of it. So, yeah, the so best walk. So you got to do your strut. <laughs> so yeah. they're going to have trophies, <laughs> actually. I, I like so. that. Mm -hmm. I, I want to see some For $100, best dollars, you can humiliate yourself as much as you want, <laughs> exactly. right? Exactly. Good exactly cause. right. <laughs> and there will be pictures taken <laughs> here by all. Yes. That's right. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Oh, yes. Appreciate you being here. Well, Thank we you. appreciate and you. Thank appreciate you. Appreciate bringing that humiliating event to the community. To the community, yeah. It should be a lot of fun. It's for a good cause. We raised $7,000 last year. And this year, we our goal is 20, so I think Wonderful. we're going to do this. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Very good. thanks yeah. again. Thank you. Dana Waymeyer is going to be here to talk about the Mountain Home Chamber Golf Tournament in just a couple minutes, and she'll be here, and we'll talk to her. Stay with us.